Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and I am going to stop you right there. If you're here just to gather materials, click the description below for the slide deck or the mock questions, learning pass, the syllabus. I have everything you're going to need to pass this exam right below, so just stop watching the video and go there and click it. Now, if you want to see me briefly talk about it, I'm going to try to make it in five or six minutes or less. Um, watch throughout the video. I, I have a couple key tips to give you so let's get started here it's the PL 900 power platforms fundamental prep exam um, I passed about a week and a half ago and I figured I, I found that a lot of people pass on their first time so hopefully you don't have trouble and I'm trying to set you up the best I can um, here if there if there's something you want to retain that isn't actually the content and you just want to pass um, just for the purpose of having the certification these mock it quite exam questions from examtopics.com shout out not a sponsor but maybe one day probably not um, hit them up um, they have every single exam question on there even though there's only 40 questions which I'll go into in the next couple slides um, this has every single thing you're gonna want on it so the first two-thirds of the questions are free um, out of the 115 you could pay for the last third um, it costs about 12 bucks but you have it for a full year um, if you ever need to retake the exam and you'll have the questions there um, the questions are fairly simple they're kind of like this uh, now the way that examtopics.com works is that each 15 questions or so are set up by um, like the product so on the first 15 will be power bi next power 15 will be power automate and then so on power apps and then the last third um, might just be you know questions about how like scenarios situations that you're gonna need to know how to sell the product right um, so I recommend paying for the last third it's pretty cheap because those questions will be on the exam uh, one other thing that I will recommend is clicking the discussion button um, people tend to not pass the exam which happens every once in a while um, and they go back through here and say which questions were on the exam and the date that they saw them so it's super helpful to show you how to prepare um, so I definitely recommend it now this is a little different the learning paths are recommended by Microsoft when before taking the exam um, because it's the meat and potatoes it's the bulk of the information if you actually want to absorb and apply the information that you learn you need to go through this course um, it's free you don't have to pay anything um, there's what 88 total units but each one can be about you know five minutes three minutes 20 minutes 15 minutes they're all different um, and they go through power platform so it'll be like power apps and then within power apps canvas apps um, model driven apps how to use each one how to build each one and so on so there's 12 total learning units um, and they do give you a cool Microsoft badge that you could probably put on your LinkedIn profile even if you don't pass the exam uh, just to show that you've learned the material right and I will say one warning about this is that there are questions at the end of each unit and those questions are not like the ones on the exam so do not pay attention to those they're way too easy um, okay awesome check it out uh, here's the next thing I'm gonna go through are the exam skills outline so this is like the syllabus there's a link to that above if you click the deck or below me in the uh, description there's about 40 questions some are drop and drag some are multiple choice some are yes and no it's about 60 minutes and you must pass with a minimum score of 700 so that's 28 out of 40 not totally sure how the scoring works I don't know if you need to get the whole question right like get two out of three questions or answers correct within one question don't know if you get points for it but it's highly possible um, <clears throat> <clears throat> to my right here my right I don't know if it's your right it'd be your left whatever however you're looking at the screen backwards or forwards this is the percentage of things on the exam so 15 to 20 percent 15 to 20 percent they're all kind of even um, except the virtual agents questions which is 10 to 15 percent that's not super important I don't remember having a question on it but it's good to know how to use it and to have a couple questions on your belt so definitely prepare for that um, and there's more in-depth things in the outline if you click it um, so I, I created a little timeline here it takes about roughly seven to eight hours I know not everyone has the same learning um, and studying habits or capabilities um, like the learning pass might take someone more than five hours um, I definitely recommend doing this throughout one or two weeks and you should be good to go especially if you layer over it a little bit 
um, but this is how much time I think it took me to really study and actually learn the material. So it might be different for someone else, but just something I put together, All right? Um, and lastly, good luck. I'm gonna try to make videos like this more often. I already have one on the MS 900. Um, I, the, my next exam I think I'm taking in March is the PL 100. So I'll make a video like that uh, when I pass it. Hopefully, if I pass it the first time, it's a little harder. Um, but I think I'm going the power platform route in my career. So those are the videos I'll make um, firsthand. So let me know if you need anything. Please like and subscribe or comment, whatever you want to do. Um, it would be awesome. I just want to get this video more views and, and try to help out people and get more in the, the Microsoft community. Um, you know, let me know if you have any questions. I have a LinkedIn as well, and uh, maybe I'll link that in here uh, somewhere. But uh, best of luck to you guys. Good luck. I'm sure you'll pass. See you later.